The fact that if you ever tried to find the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, you just end up running in circles is a weird science effect that boggles my mind. First off, if you are like, I already know where you're going with this and it's not that mind boggling, okay, screw you. Finding super mind blowing science effects is hard, okay? And, and I procrastinate. And my buddy yesterday, when I would have been writing and researching my science videos, like, hey, you want to go jump in a plane and fly to Oshkosh and look at more planes? So I'm like, um, duh. And then I went and did that instead of finding mind boggling science facts. So now I'm winging it this morning and I just happen to have a really cool experience with a rainbow in an airplane yesterday. So that's what this video is going to be about. Get off my back. And if you don't know where I'm going with this and you are intrigued and you're like, what the hell does a rainbow in an airplane have to do with each other? Thank you. It is interesting and I'm going to make it interesting for you. Now we all know what a rainbow is. It's a beautiful multicolored arc that appears in the sky after the rain. If you believe a cereal box, there's lucky charms at the end of it and it should prove to Christians that if their God existed, he clearly doesn't hate the gays as much as they do. But he doesn't exist because if he did, come on, he would have reneged on that rainbow promise and reflooded the world because God damn, we suck. I don't remember specifically what it was in the Old Testament that was the final straw that broke the camel's back and made God go, eh, just catch, we're just starting this whole thing over again. But whatever it was, it couldn't be nearly as bad as his people worshiping their golden calf Groper Cleveland so much they made the fucker president, so... You know. But even in the absence of some divine promise and it being as simple as just light being filtered through natural prisms of water droplets left in the air, a rainbow certainly still has some heavenly hues that almost everybody enjoys. But when you think of a rainbow, you usually think of it in flag, skittle, or arc form. Since we're not talking about fun parades or really weird TV commercials, the arc form is what we're what we're getting at here. But just like Noah having an arc, a rainbow having an arc is a myth. It's actually a full circle. You just can't see it unless you get high. Put down the mushrooms, not that kind. A actually physically high. So your perspective when you're standing on the ground means the horizon blocks half your view of the rainbow. But if you get in a plane, you can see the whole dang thing. And I got that experience yesterday. We flew through a little rainstorm on our way home from Oshkosh. And when we came through on the other side, we saw this. It was super hard for me to get it all in the camera. And even when I did, it still didn't do it justice. But there it is, a full circle rainbow. And even a little double rainbow action going on. How cool is that? We had to turn around to get it in perspective after flying through the storm. And when we did, we got this cool perspective of the rainbow putting the propeller in parentheses. And this is really a pretty rare experience because the guy I was flying with has been a pilot for over 20 years and he said this is the third time he's seen it in all of that time. So I wanted to share that with you guys because it's not every day you get to fly through the rain in a plane and get to see that on the other side. And the fact that I just did a rant about the radical revelations of a rainbow's radius, all that is pretty mind-boggling. Sort of. Maybe not. But it's still cool.